we're always looking for the perfect solution, right? And there's never like this one thing that if we do, boom, all of our problems are solved. We have to like just address the need for right now. And then once we get to the next milestone, it's gonna probably gonna be in another architecture. So I feel like for the past nine months, we already discussed like, I don't know how many different architectures, right? <laughs> it's been pretty fun. Hey everyone, welcome to another Founder Q&A video. This is the moment where we answer all of your questions about recent. And today I have Boo Kinoshita with us. He's the co-founder of Resend. Boo, I'm so happy to have you here. It's gonna be yeah. fun. Yeah, excited to be here. <laughs> nice, let's get started. Uh, so the first question we got, uh, this was from Twitter or X now. Um, what is the tech stack that you're using to build the platform? Yeah, we have a lot of applications running in the background. Uh, like for our dashboard, we use Next app, uh, which is hosted on Vercel. Uh, for public API, we use Express hosted on Railway. Uh, we have a lot of internal tools as well that depending on the case, we build just with Express or just a serverless Next, Next JS API. Um, we have a, lot, a, few, a few other tools like for running background jobs, we have ingest. Uh, there are a couple more front end tools that we are using, like for example, the styling, we use Tailwind. For building components, we use Radix. Radix. Uh, yeah. Which one is your favorite from that stack? Which one is the favorite? Uh, it's a hard question. Yeah, that's a really hard question. Uh, I, I, I really like Radix uh, because like, it's so primitive, the components, and you can build a, lo a bunch of things just using their primitive components. Uh, but the one that I've been really enjoying lately is Ingest uh, because it's so easy to use Ingest and running your background jobs uh, and you don't have to worry about the hard stuff, which is like the infrastructure and where you're going to deploy, host all those things. Uh, so you pretty much just write uh, a JavaScript function and it runs on the background. So for me, it's pretty easy and I don't need to worry about anything else. That's awesome. Uh, Zeno, did React Mail came as a result of recent or the other way around? Yeah, man, this one is interesting because um, we started, you know, playing around with this idea of like, how could we create the stripe of email, the Vercel of email? That was like an experimentation for us, right? Just like uh, as a side project, you know, um, and once we're building this, we're like, oh, this is interesting. It's cool uh, that this thing exists and it's working now. But what's the story that we're going to tell, right? And we're both like really big into storytelling and how we can like bring a narrative that makes sense. And we were feeling the pain of having to build templates uh, together when we were working at WorkOS. Uh, and it was su such a painful process of like, oh my gosh, like, building emails in 2023 are still extremely hard with like extremely archaic tags and, and stuff like that. So we decided, you know what, let's explore that as well. And we started building React email. And so we kind of like, we kept both things like working parallel. And then we were like, okay, let's release React email first because that's the beginning of your process as an engineer, like, you know, a designer hands you off a Figma file. Now you have to build the template. And then once you build the template, now you need a way to send it. And here's a platform to send it. So we tried, we tried to like put those Lego blocks in place um, when we were bringing this to life. And it was pretty interesting. Like, yeah, just figuring out how we're going to tell that story. Okay, this next question came from LinkedIn. What was the most technically challenging aspect you encounter during the development of Recent's API? Yeah. <laughs> I can name a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
we have a lot of challenges uh, daily, um, and most of them are related to our growth. Uh, like, how can we handle multiple uh, requests per seconds for a large sending? Uh, how we can handle processing a lot of emails at the same time? Uh, there's a, a bunch of a bunch of things that we don't know how to do it, but we then need to learn and 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 do it uh, in the best way we can. Uh, a recent ex example, the way we built our queue system to support sending emails in a large scale. Uh, we, we, we had a basic uh, queue in place for sending emails, but uh, our API wasn't handled uh, same, with, with a bunch of customers sending at the same time or sending like large amounts of emails at the same time. Uh, we knew that we had to build a queue system to handle them, that, that load. Uh, but also be prepared, like, for example, if anything goes down, we still are able to reprocess all these messages. So even if the message is not sent right away, we have something in place to recover the message and send, like, I don't know, five minutes later. Um, yeah, I think most of that just related to growth. Uh, and... Yeah, the skill system is to support large amount of emails that that we need to send. Uh, yeah, what about you, Zena? Do you think have anything in mind? Yeah, I'll definitely just echo what you said. Right, like one thing is building a system to send a reasonable amount of messages, and the other thing is like sending dozens of millions of messages. Um, and we are now just having to handle all that load and we, we have to figure it out. There's, uh, there's no silver bullet. Like most of the times we're, we're like, we're always looking for the perfect solution. Right. And there's never like this one thing that if we do boom, all of our problems are solved. We have to like, just address the need for right now. And then once we get to the next milestone it's gonna probably gonna be in another architecture so i feel like for the past nine months we already discussed like i don't know how many different architectures right <laughs> it's been pretty fun zeno this is one from x from chase adams do you plan on add inbound emails with webhook soon Man, this is one of our most requested features right and we We've been focusing on delivering emails for the past few months, and we definitely want to help with being able to receive emails too. That's what inbound emails is all about. So we're looking into this. We've been researching. Um, so all I can say is that it's definitely in our minds, maybe probably not something for 2023, but I believe for next year, we should probably be adding something uh, related to this. Got another feature request for you, Boo. This is from Bailey Davis. Are you looking at adding templating so we can just pass the template identifier and variables via API to send out emails? Yeah, that's a really good question. It's, it's a common feature request. Uh, there's a lot of people that really want uh, templating. Uh, currently, the way we do right now is that we build templates with React Mail. Uh, so they use all the features from React Mail to build their templates uh, and send um, this React Mail uh, using our recent API, right? We're looking into adding the templates in the recent dashboard as well. So you can create the, the templates there, uh, pass some variables uh, if you if you want. Uh, and you can reference the ID of the templates, uh, just the, these common things. We're researching and uh, experiment with different things uh, to understand a little bit more and also gathering feedback from a few users. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're looking to this. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Zeno, another question for you. 
uh, does resend include an email as though we can add to our reacting app? Yeah, for, you know, so, since day one, we've been really focusing on giving you APIs and SDKs. So not necessarily UI. Uh, so we kind of like give that responsibility to the users so they can have also the freedom to do whatever they want. But we do recognize that, you know, if you had a editor that was friendly to use and um, pretty accessible, then maybe you could have not only technical people building and helping with these templates, but also non-technical people. And we are, we are exploring, we're actively working on this right now, and we're still figuring out like how we're going to package this email editor. But all I can say is that it's something that's coming and we are really, really excited. We feel like this is going to empower not only the engineering team, but also other people who are supporting that engineering team. And yeah, I can't wait to release this. It's going to be really nice. Now let's talk about the team. What's the team size? Uh, we have five people right now. Uh, me and Zeno, we have Johnny and that, that's, that's leading the operations. We have Vitor working close to me uh, on the engineering team. And you, we have also Zé, which is working on the product design. Uh, yeah, five people right now. That being said, Zeno is recent hiring. Nice. Yes, we are hiring. Uh, we, you know, we're a very small team, but we're growing very fast. And there's one specific role that I wanted to point out, which is the developer success engineer role. And this is a mix of support and engineering where you're going to be on the front line helping folks to integrate with Recent and answer their questions as they move along, as well as, you know, sometimes like fix bugs that people are seeing, you know, work on uh, internal tools to help us uh, support um, that load of you know users coming to the platform. We're seeing hundreds of signups every single day, and with that um, that volume, we need help like supporting people. So I'm really excited about this role. And you know, in terms of engineering, marketing, like other roles, we we don't have like publicly open roles right now, but we are always talking to folks and learning about their career. So maybe if we don't hire right now, we hire maybe like a month from now, three months from now, six months from now. So I feel like right now is all about creating those relationships and yeah, growing sustainably. That's something that's super important to us. Boo, it was really nice having you here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys. See ya, bye.